So we're going to start by removing this seat cushion and underneath the seat cushion is the access plate to get to the fuel pump assembly. There's two mounting points here in the seat cushion. You just pull up and they'll pop out. There's one, other, and now we just pull this out. This access plate is secured in place with a semi-adhesive glue. We'll pry on one of the corners and then we'll use a razor to cut around it. So we got electrical fitting over here. You pinch this little tab and it should come out. And there. Now if you notice there's a lot of debris in here because you're actually looking at the exterior portion of the fuel tank. So we're going to put a little brake clean here and then air blow it. So next we're going to disconnect the fuel line. It's still a little bit under pressure so there's going to be a little fuel leak which is fine. Uh, we're just going to blow it dry. So you got this pin down here. Pinch this too and pry it out. Now when I pull on this, there's going to be a fuel pressure release. Okay, so there's the fuel leak. Now I'll just blow this dry. These nine eight millimeter bolts are holding the plate down. So we're going to take these bolts off. All right, now we'll take off this plate. And the whole fuel pump assembly will come out. You just got to be careful with the float and the filter. So we've got to angle it out like this. So let the fuel drip out a little bit. And there we go. The fuel pump is right inside this round housing. So you got this cover over here, a cap. So we have to remove this cap and then you have an electrical fitting over here that you detach and then the whole fuel pump itself will detach from the assembly. Alright, so that's loose. Then I take a second screwdriver. Okay, that one's loose. And then here's my next one. Okay, that one came off. So this side's off. Gotta hold this. Okay, that one's off. Now we got this one last one over here. Boop, it just popped it off. Now we take this thing off here. All right, so just wiggle this a little bit, pull hard, and it'll just pop right out. And you'll notice you got this fitting over here. That goes through that hole down there. The kit came with everything I need to hook this up. So we have this fitting over here. Then we have a new O-ring over here. And then we have a little teeny cap. There. Take a little bit of dielectric grease and just coat the rubber o-ring so it slides into the sleeve. All right, that's clipped in. Now I'll just wiggle this in and boom, we're in. Now before you put this back in the car, it's a good idea to put a little silicone grease right here on this rubber rim. Okay, now we're just going to angle the whole assembly with the filter in first, and then we straighten it out. And here is the access plate. Okay, now we just put in these little 8 millimeter screws.
Here's the fuel line. This is the retention clip. And this is the plug. Now there's like a little alignment bump right here. And over here there's like a little V. So these hooks, we got one here and one over here. They have to line up with a hole over here and the hole over there. Don't forget the seat belts. I just wiggle it in and push down. Then we do the other side. Just wiggle it in and push down. That's it. So right now the fuel line has air in it, so we'll initialize the system. We won't start the engine, we'll just turn the ignition on. Now this is a push button setup. So then we'll turn it off again. Turn it on. Three times. That should be enough to turn on the fuel pump and get and cycle the new fuel through the through the lines. Okay, now I'm going to try to start it. Here we go. There we go. And we're done.